everybody, it's Ellie Diecast. We're back, and as you can see, the only thing we're missing are some cars to drive through this little diorama. So, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to pick 25 out of our bin. I'm going to order them how I think they should be ordered, and you all are probably going to disagree because that's how this works. Be right back. Okay, full disclosure. We've got some new stuff in there, and the old stuff is just still on the bottom. So we'll mix this up, see what we got. All right, this time let's try to go medium range here. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. There's a weird one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen. Drop one. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. 23, 24, 25. Well, we got, we got exactly enough. All right. Be back in the diorama. We'll see what we got. Okay. Sorry about the airplane in the background. It'll go away here soon. So we're off. We're going to go through the top 10 or so pretty quickly. We've got all sorts of odd ones in this. First off is... Speed Racer with the Mach 5. I remember those things from the beginning of the TV show, the cartoon series, at least here in America. Mach 5 has a wobbly back wheel, so that's lowered him. This is from the uh, Speed Racer series, I think. They were Hot Wheels cars, but they always kind of have some odd markings on the bottom of them. And that front part comes off. Anyways, that is the Mach 5 with its chainsaws. Next up is the Boulevard Bruiser from the Star Wars series, which gets my vote as possibly the worst series of last year. Those were boring and those Tampos needed an extra color in them. Oh, bad car I got, yes. Oh, hmm. That Boulevard Bruiser only gets 24th place. Next up is a mystery car. Usually we get really excited about these, but this particular, what was it? The Super Coupe Dragster Speed Coupe Dragster. I forgot what this one is. This one has this weird thing on the back, which I never really know what to do with. It's supposed to snap up in there, and it never does. And I don't like this model anyway, so... That is my least favorite mystery car ever. <laughs> it did beat out that Yoda Boulevard Bruiser, though. Next up is an old clunky Johnny Lightning. This poor guy needs some loving, and he will get restored. But I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to save. It's got the caps on the inside of those wheels. But, boy, this guy got played with. <laughs> that, is a, that is a Johnny Lightning old old johnny lightning but he didn't get too far next up a pike's peak tacoma looks pretty good in the diorama but it's one of my least favorite castings i don't know why i don't like this one i just don't like this particular car uh this one from 2011 it's probably one of the better decorated pike peaks tacomas but that guy is out of the running for the top spot Next up, a little matchbox. What is this? This is a Cooper. It's a mini Cooper Cabrillo. There is our mini Cooper. That one from Matchbox. I think that was from last year, 2011's run. Its wheels look like it's been played with a little bit. I don't know where we got that guy from. A little mini Cooper. That was number 19, I believe. Next up, Buick Wildcat. This, I believe, was a prototype from Buick. Got made into a Hot Wheels. This is the final run version. You can see it there on the back. 
final run version for Buick Wildcat would have hit in about 2004, 2005, uh, I'll go with 2004, I don't know when the last run of this was. Buick Wildcat makes it into our top 20 at least. Next up we've got a Dodge Charger. This is the 2011 Dodge Charger RT. That one from the 2011 series. Love the gray interior. Just not really my favorite Dodge Charger and nothing particularly special about it. Was this one a Super? I don't remember. Uh, that one might have been the Super for then. I don't remember. This one's kind of a fun one, so we're going to do... Wait, can I... Uh, give me a second here. You know, I have nothing with a hitch on it. No, well, that didn't work out. I have nothing with a hitch on it. So, <laughs> there is number 11. This is the cross-country moving generic no-name... Wait, is that Maisto? Oh, it's Maisto. I take that back. There's a tiny little Maisto there. There it is. Tiny little Maisto... And boy, this thing is built like a tank. There's a metal post in there. You can see it. And this thing is heavy. It's going to outlast the apocalypse. And I guess we can back up our HW40, which is our next one. And that one from 2008. One of the better paint jobs on the HW40, but who really cares, right? HW40 is... Moving across country. All right. This one's going to get some flack because a lot of people really like that car. That is the Toyota Supra. It doesn't do a whole lot for me. I don't like the multicolored wheels on this. And out of all the cars that are really kind of hot right now, this one's my probably my least favorite. So that Toyota Supra from, when was that from? 2017? 2017, I think. Next, I forgot this guy's name. He's from Toy Story. This is one of those Toy Story cars or Disney cars. I, I get these mixed up. I don't know if this is a Disney released uh, car or if it's a the ones you find in the store. It is a Hot Wheels. There's the bottom. Rex, that's his name. That's Rex's car with his teeth there. So Rex gets a car. Yeah, they, they make, uh, Disney makes a series of those. And there's a series you can buy at Walmart or in the regular stores. I get them mixed up. Here's a Corvette C7 R. That one is almost brand new from 2018. I'm pretty sure we got this one in the stores and threw it in the bin. I do like this Corvette model. It's got a lot of detail inside with the Summit Racing on the side. A nice one from 2007. Here is a 70 Dodge Charger in bright orange. That one, the RT version from 2011. Boy, we've pulled a lot of 2011s out of here. 2011 was a good year for Hot Wheels. So that guy makes it into our, are we in our top 20 yet? Three, six, nine, now we're almost in the top 10. Almost. This one was ranked higher and kept getting bumped, and that is the DeLorean. That's the regular version DeLorean, not the Back to the Future DeLorean. I really like this one. AMG DeLorean. That is a nice looking car. That DeLorean from, you guessed it, 2011 DeLorean. Oops. <laughs> DeLorean just bounced off my diorama. It was in perfect condition. <laughs> this one has ranked really high before. Boy, they made a lot of these models, so there's a lot of them out there. And that is the Ford Mustang 2 Concept. Convertible from, yes, 2011. There were a lot of 2011s in this one. There always seems to be. Here's another one. The 2011 24, no, it's prototype 24. Right? I was going to call it 24 hours. That's prototype 24 from 2011. That is prototype 24, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, prototype H24. 
24. It's right there. If I can get it to focus, it's right underneath that top wheel there. That one, one of the better paint jobs, and I do like that fantasy model. Um, I was going to say it's the highest fantasy model, but it's not, technically. We've got ourselves a Bone Shaker. This one from the Classic Series. This one does have some tampos on it. Unusual for the Classics to have tampos on them. Don't see that a lot. This one from Series 3. Took a long time to get the Bone Shaker in that series. There is that skull on the front of the Bone Shaker. Really nice paint job from the Classics Series 3. Here's one. This one, these always get a bunch of flack, and that is another Hero City Matchbox car. This one's got this crazy little crane, and it does pull forward so he can push stuff. These are not the easiest things to find. They don't tend to go for a lot of money, but not easy to find either. This guy's name is rig digger the rig digger he did not win we've got we've had a few of these that won these hero city stars you guys know i collect those i love me those hero city character cars and i got one here that's still in its bag that i didn't take out this one did win i want to say earlier a different version of this and that is the mclaren p1 that one from 2017. I think it was a different McLaren that won a few videos back. Uh, not crazy about the top on this one, but that McLaren does make it into our top two, uh, 10, right? We're easily in the top 10 now, right? Yeah, we're down to our, that was number seven. Number six, a Good old Matchbox. We've got a bunch of different uh, companies here in our top six, so this will be interesting. This is the last of the Matchboxes. This one, a Firebird. This one from last year, I believe. It does have the iconic Firebird symbol on the front. That's why I like this one. And it has some really nice matching tires. Nothing crazy. Very nice Firebird. And this one, we have seen this one in the top before. It is not the last one of these we're going to see in our top 20 today, or top 25 today. That is a 70 Plymouth 8A Arcuda. Right there with my favorite castings of all time. I've not been ashamed of that at all. If I could get one of these in real life, I'd have a lot of money. And this one in purple, so it's kept it out of the top, well, top four. This is number five. But that one, I do like that. Probably the most customs I've done have been of AA Arcudas. Next up, we've got a Chevy. What kind of Chevy is this? It's a Chevelle. Chevy Chevelle SS. This one from Racing Champions. We don't see a lot of Racing Champions. Not a lot. This one does have an opening hood. Look at that detail. It even has a little little rear view mirror on there that I haven't broken off yet. Probably won't get through the video without doing that. A Chevy Chevelle SS. Look at that paint job on that puppy. From Road Champion. Racing Champion. Sorry, Racing Champion. Alright. We're in our top three. This one I thought of ranking higher. But it didn't beat out the other two. And I'm going to switch it. <laughs> so I've, I've made a switch. My prerogative. Number three, Muscle Machines. This one, this crazy Chevrolet Bel Air. It's a 55. Uh, I don't remember what series this is from. And I don't remember what year it is from. But it's a little bit older. This one's got the crazy, real exaggerated features on it. Even white wall tires on the back. Mentioned it before, this, some of these do get made into customs for their wheels. They're not the easiest wheels to work with. But that muscle machine is number three. Number two, this is the one I just switched out. 
Let's see if you recognize that one. Does anybody recognize what that one is? Well, it's a Ford Fairlane. You'll probably, I'm sure some of you got that real quick. Ford Fairlane GT. It's from 2009. This was a Walmart exclusive, and it came with real rider tires. It was a regular car in the mainline series, but with um, real rider tires. So not a super. At least not as far as I know. I'm pretty sure this was not a Super. It just was in the main line. It was a Walmart exclusive, and they had rubber tires on it. Very nice car. That one from 2009. All right, our winner, and it wasn't really close. This guy held the top spot <coughs> the whole way through, and that one is a... 70 Barracuda that one from it's on the back there that one from the editor's choice series 70 Barracuda I'm not sure the year on that but it's fairly old 2000 something if I remember right very nice car so that is our winner for this round, folks. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.